Question number 20. 0.9 divided by 10. When you are dividing by 10, don't forget that all digits move one place backwards to make the number smaller. So one place back. Okay? If we were dividing by 100, it would be move all the digits two places back. Dividing by 1,000 would move all the digits three places back. Remember that if you're multiplying, it's the same number of places, but instead of moving the digits back, you actually move the digits forward instead. So multiplying by 10 would be move the digits one place forward. Multiply by 100 would be move the digits two places forward. And multiply by 1000 would be move the digits three places forward. So bearing that in mind, we've got to divide by 10. So if we start with 0 0.9, then the line underneath, keep our decimal point in the same place. Dividing by 10 means move all the digits one place backwards. So this 9 is going to move one place backwards into this column. So the 9 is going to go there. And obviously we've got a gap in here. And the 0 is going to move one place backwards. So the 0 is going to go into this column where the gap is. But you can't just leave it as 0 0.09. So if you move both digits backwards, you've got 0 0.09. And 0 0.09 is the same as 0 0.09. So you need that extra 0 in really at the start there. So your final answer is this 0 0.09 here. So 0 0.9 divided by 10 is 0 0.09. If you divide it by again, you'd get 0 0.009. If you divide it by 10 again. If you divide it by 10 again, you'd get 0 0.009. Each time that you divide by 10, the 9 will go backwards one more place.